principles of immunology cytokines it is one way immoral response in a cell but it's uh, linking with the adaptive immunology, immune norm as well cytokines they are small proteins secreted by cells of the immune system so they affect the behavior of other cells so once a stimulus is there they produce the activation of cytokine producing gene cytokines they go they act themselves or other cells they are signal molecules key players in innate and acquired immunity so classification done depending on the source lymphocytes lymphocytes function chemokines attraction of gene attraction replay repellent intracellular actions like interleukins there are cytokine examples interferons interleukins and tumor necrosis factor it's very much important in a term of immunity there are actions depending on the action autocrine affect the generating cell autocrine paracrine nearby cells or endocrine you know distal cells the going through the circulation about the properties of the cytokines they are pleiotropic affects multiple cell types pleiotropic one interleukin for axon b cells thermocytes mast cells like redundancy multiple cytokines affect cells of same type so one b cell may activate deep activate the interleukin for formation of proliferation and differentiation with the presence of interleukin one one way interleukin 17 mother way like synergism cytokine act in concern of the same cell there is exaggeration at same time antagonism by different combinations and cascading cytokine act sequential cascade activation it sends interferon gamma secreted it in turn activates macrophages like interleukin 12 and interferon gamma by in cells and macrophages in innate immunity so likewise it goes synergism and organism synergism is there induced class switch into immunoglobulin in e formation initially it forms ign with the presence of these interleukins class switch form to in igg interleukin 5 presence it goes to igg e formation here it is antagonism activated t itself interleukin 4 axon but interferon gamma in turn blocks class switch to ige induced by interleukin 4 cytokine generating cells in a immunity macrophage intercellular cells fibroblasts and nk cell also here adaptive immunity t lymphocyte macrophages cytokine receptors so you know it's immunoglobulin superfamily class and hemoprotein in pnf and chemokines it's just to know there are receptor families class 1 cytokine receptor there are ligands class 2 spo interferon gamma beta likewise cytokine receptors same way multimeric receptors common signal transduction subunit it's a signal transduction initiated by cytokine binding activated jack chanas kinase for phosphorylation of tyrosine check receptor dimerization activation of jack family then stat dispersion then dimerization of stat dna specific gene transcription that's how those things happen under influence of or under the state of inflammatory response it's having the role on hemo- hematopoiesis as well interleukin so you can see how interleukin 7 and another common lymphoid progen to t lymphocyte formation interleukin 5 is an ideal progenitor likewise il3 granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor for formation of granulocyte colony stimulating factor and monocyte colony stimulating factor likewise so about the immune response innate response il1 interleukin 1 leads fever capillary effect so really edema il6 adaptive immunity via b cells il2 pnf macrophages capillary effect activates neutrophils 
interferone alpha and beta in multiple effects, macrophages and fibroblasts. Adaptive immune response, IL-2, multiple effects, IL-4, T-cell and mast cell, T-cell differentiation and IgE production, likewise, there. Yeah. So, macrophage, so inflammation, adaptive immunity, cytokine promotion, leads to T-cell differentiation, likewise, there are multiple functions. Cytokine antagonism and viral disease, using cytokine therapeutically. Which cells release cytokines? Cells of immune system, neutrophils. In when they encounter pathogen, macrophage, same activated. Toll-like receptors bind to microbes, component of the microbes. Trigger formation of neutrophils, macrophage to formation of cytokines. In cases on encountering microbes, infected cell, tumor cells, lymphocytes when they activated, activated lymphocytes. About interferons, secreted proteins by monocyte and lymphocytes mainly and viral infected cells, key antiviral -pro protein interfere with virus replication, warn, warn the neighbors about that virus is around. We did not have interferon, most of us may die with influenza infection. So there are three types, two types and type one. It can interfere on alpha and beta. Type 2, it contains interferon gamma. Three types of interferons, and we types them as typing them as type 1. Type B interferon alpha is producing leukocyte infected with virus. Interferon beta produced by fibroblasts infected with virus. Interferon gamma is induced by stimulation of sensitized lymphocytes with an antigen no non-sensitized lymphocyte with mitogen. So mainly it's lymphocytes are the responsible with the sensitized antigen activated ones. So induction of interferon, said earlier, interferon alpha and beta type 1, when prototype cells of origin is exposed to virus, double standard RNA. So it's indicate some damage of the cell, cytokines. Interferon gamma, following number of immunological stimuli, T cell specific antigen. Staphylococcus enterotoxin A and mitogens. Here it's a super antigen. How does interferon warn the neighboring cells? So virus is infecting, they produce interferons. Now sensitized cell, so surrounding cells are sensitized and leads to antiviral state. Minimize the damage. So they inhibit interferon alpha. There is induction of host protein, viral double standard DNA there. Active host protein, inactive host protein to activation, cascade events, inhibition of protein, host protein synthesis. So with the inhibition of host protein synthesis, virus can't survive because virus are foreign or one way. Uh, parasites one way they take or they utilize host amino acids and proteins to make their capsid and their nuclear proteins so in the absence of protein synthesis virus can't survive within the infected cell that's how they interfere on inhibit viruses so interleukins there are a multiple role, proliferation of immune cells Inflammation, release, antibody production, activation of the immune cells. About the TNA, it causes fever. It also helps to kill in the cancer cells and provoke inflammation. There are some so interleukin 4, 5, interleukin 2, interleukin 1, TNF alpha. That's better. Interferon gamma. So you have to read on this mechanism of fever, definition and mechanism of inflammation. Definition of sepsis, medical loss of cytokines. That's all.